forward to having him back home and healthy. Helping a hero tonight, Virginia Beach firefighters and others around Hampton Roads are coming together to help a beloved firefighter who was just diagnosed with the rare and aggressive form of cancer. Our news three anchor Zach Dahlheimer joins us live in studio. Now, Zach, tell us more about this firefighter story and how people can help him out. Well, Pari, we're talking about Captain Matt Chevarati, a longtime Virginia Beach firefighter who's been in many roles. Now, when you ask his colleagues who Matt is, they'll tell you that he's a go-getter, someone who's always there for family at home and in uniform. And tonight, firefighters and others are returning the favor by being there for him and his family. He's who epitomizes what a Virginia Beach firefighter is and what a great human being is. Um, Fighting back tears, Virginia Beach Fire Chief David Hutchison spoke to us about the man they know as Chevy. 44-year-old Captain Matt Chevarotti is battling anaplastic thyroid cancer, metastatic carcinoma. Hutchison and other firefighters joining him in his battle against the rare and aggressive form of cancer. He's always at the top of his game. He does everything at that level. Um, so he'll, he'll do everything he can. To, to beat this thing. Hutchison recalls the day he promoted Chevarotti to captain in front of his peers. He was so excited. He was so thrilled that he got to be promoted in front of everybody. It meant so much to him. And quite honestly, it meant a lot to me too to promote him that way. Chevarotti has spent more than 20 years with the department and many years with Virginia Task Force 2, even deploying across the U.S., Haiti, and Puerto Rico. And 10 years ago, he was one of the responders on the ground at the Good Friday Miracle Jet Crash. Currently, Chevy is the engine behind Engine 7 in Virginia Beach, one of the busiest trucks in the resort city. He was one of those people that just kind of brought joy to the station and everybody knew him instantly and liked being around him. District Chief Amy Valdez has worked with Chevy for years. Wednesday, she and others came out to CP Shuckers to raise money for him and his family. The medical bills pile up really quickly. We want to make sure we can bring him back and ensure that he's he has everything he needs when he gets back here and doesn't have to worry about money. The event wasn't only for firefighters. Jan and Tom Bita know Chevarotti through their community pool and wanted to help too. It's anytime you find somebody that's an acquaintance or that you've met somewhere that you want to help. A GoFundMe page is also raising money for Chevy and his family with individual donations topping as much as $5,000. The page has so far raised nearly $40,000 in just five days. We always come together if someone is having an issue and Matt's got quite the fight on his hands, so we're there to fight with him and to help out however we can. Meanwhile, firefighters will continue answering the call of service to help a beloved public servant in Hampton Roads. Now it's our turn to be there for him. And Chevarotti is currently at MD Anderson Medical Center in Houston undergoing treatment. If you missed tonight's benefit at CP Shuckers, don't worry. There are plenty of other events being held this month and next month to raise money for Captain Chevarotti and his family. If you'd like to help out, we've got info on those events and a link to that GoFundMe page you saw online right now at WTKR.com. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3. Zach, thank you so much for that story. Now, earlier this year, News 3's team of investigators went in depth on how firefighters are at a greater risk of being diagnosed and dying from cancer. You can find this News 3 investigation right now on our website, WTKR.com.